think that the crossing signals is really annoying here. It's like, da -da 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 irks me. It irks me. Hello. Are you guys visiting Hong Kong? You visiting Hong Kong? No, I live here. You live here. What's your name? Ping Ping. Ping Ping? Yes. Oh, it's such a pretty name. <laughs> so what do Hong Kong people do for fun? For, for, for what? For fun. For fun? Many ways. Go to the beach and enjoy the bars, nightlife, everything. What should we do for fun? Huh? What should we do? Me and my friends, what should we do for fun? What do you like? <laughs> uh, what do you like to do? Um, well, tonight's already kind of booked up because of football. Yeah. But so, what should we do tomorrow morning? What is the best thing? We have one morning left in Hong Kong. Only one morning? Yeah. Well, you went to the peak already? We've just been to the peak. We're uh, going now to watch the light show. What else is there left to do? Uh, let's, let's I don't know. I uh, know uh, the best is to sound like morning, fun. Find a place to have some nice tea and. Nice tea. What do you think, Ron? Okay, I tea. see it. Is. Tea it is. I say we'll have tea. Well, thank you very much, Ping Ping. You're welcome. Bye bye. Let me see. All right, there we go. Yeah, I want people come here eat. We have everything, man. What do you eat? I eat a lot. I you eat saga saga, you eat mafe, you eat uh, chicken, and salad, you have everything. And it was good. It was good. And he was trying to be funny and tell me I was half Chinese. Yeah, everything nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy this guy is jokes. He said I was half Chinese. You're like Chinese, man, half Chinese, you know? I, I know what he's trying to say. He's trying to be funny. <laughs> You're Chinese, man. I know they told you I, I hijacked the. I know they told you they hijacked. <clears throat> What's the matter with me? Oh, I'm gonna drop my camera. <coughs> I know they told you they hijacked the podcast, but I ran into these guys in Hong Kong. Who would have knew? They're from Fuzhou too, and we're hanging out. Let's see what's going on. Top of the world, mom. Top of the world. I'm an absolute natural nut. <laughs> you guys line up. Let's see. I'll give you guys a nickname from your American friend. I think I'm going to call you the Red Coats. What? The Red Coats. Why? You don't know why? Well, well no, nobody. Well, because. In the British Army, oh, during the Revolutionary War, when Paul Revere did his ride, when he saw the British, he said, "The British are coming! The British are coming!" They wore red coats. So. Do you want to know Nick's, uh, Nick's uh, his nickname already? It's huge. Leave that out. Oh no, no, that's going in. Hey, in the last, in the, Hugh Garrett Evans. This is initial. In the last podcast, there. Huge. Just watch the last podcast. Nothing gets cut out. Um, I have many. So do I. Pants is oh. probably the main one. I have a friend named Pants. Yeah? Jennifer LaRue. Why? Why Pants? Please explain on the camera. Because he wets his pants? No, because my surname is easily changed. I should get the pants. What? I don't know, it's, it's, it's classic. It's stuck with me for many times. Okay. I've got a football shirt with it on. What's yours? My nickname? Yeah. yeah. Ron. Ron? Sorry, a nickname. You see the problem with that? It's your name. No, my name is Ronald. No, that's just a, that's just a shortened version of your name. It's not a nickname. a nickname. No, that's a shortened version of your name. I have many nicknames. My nickname is different to the shortened version of my name. Well, it, it depends on who you, who, you, who you ask. Different people call me different things. My mother likes to call me Junebug. Any particular reason why? I don't know. It's just a 
popular nickname for young black guys. June bug. Do I look like a June bug? Probably not. I don't know what one is. I don't either. <laughs> so I guess so then. Uncle, damn, my white balance. Oh, there we go. Sorry, Ron. You ready? Uncle Jumba. Wait, you ready for the bar tonight? The Ghana. Yep. And the Brazil. What do you think the score is going to be? Uh, I don't know. What's, what's a good soccer score? Three to one. Wait, right, so you put that ding thing in three to one, and then after you go, the real result was. The real result. There you go. <laughs> this guy watches the podcast. Who are Ghana playing? Brazil. And then France playing Spain. What do you think the score is going to be? I think, unfortunately, Brazil are going to win. But I reckon it's going to go to extra time. And it's going to be 1 0 in extra time for Brazil. Though like saying that, I don't think it's going to work now. What about you? What do you think the score is going to be? Um, well, I did write all the scores down on my piece of paper for the World Cup betting thing, but I've forgotten. She's those. going shopping. This is the next round. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, well, when, do we, when are we supposed to write down the scores for that? We've decided against it. Oh, so when do we find out who's won? Mick won. Oh, who came second? Uh, Grant. And then Pete? No, Chris. And then? Not yet. No, no, no. It's not me and you after that. Please tell me I beat Jeremy. We were fifth and sixth. Um, I think you might have been Jeremy. Yes! Pete, Alright there. What do you think the score is going to be? Of course, me Ghana are going to win tonight. Uh, probably about 2-1. I was doing two pretty well there for me. Come on. <laughs> you see how many swimming pools and things you can spot on the roofs of the, like the hotels and skyscrapers. It's pretty cool. Now I ran across this guy and when I heard him speaking, I could have swore he's from Australia. And then the longer we went on talking, this guy's actually from Germany. Yeah. And let's see let's see if he can fool you guys. Uh, well actually I'm from Perth, Australia, West Australia, a great place. I like diving there. Australian there for half a year. No I met this crazy American. <laughs> Fooled me. Whoop up 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 The national animal of China, the panda bear. <laughs> oh, <Ted. laughs> I like okay, this. okay, okay. I like this guy. This guy's well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. There go his buddies, the enforcers. Here, go, 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 go. I wonder when people see this today go, mm mm, I bet that would taste good if it was real. Guess not. We don't see big statues of bulls and go, mmm, steak. That was racist. Do you want to eat this? No. <laughs> you can't eat. Not a big fan of octopus. That must be the octopusy. 
Oh, I know that was bad. I'm sorry. So here I am at this uh, assembly. Loud as hell as usual, but it's China. What you gonna do? Tell them to turn the volume down. Oh look! Turn the volume down. Let's see some other people's opinion. Omar, yo, what do you what do you think about this event? What do you think it's gonna be about? I think it's going to be just a bunch of people talking, dancing. Singing. It's the culmination of two weeks of practicing English. Now, now, how did you come to China? How did I come to China? A uh, professor of mine asked me if I wanted to go. I said, sure, why not? said, uh, all you gotta do is pay for your plane ticket, and uh, that's it. So I came, played for my plane ticket. I'm over here. And, uh, got two more weeks. I'm gonna go chill in Shaman and then Beijing. <laughs> Pam. Hi. So are you happy to be in China? Yeah, sure. I don't believe you. Well, I miss my puppy and my house and my toilet. And you don't have a toilet? No? Huh? What? You don't have a toilet? Well, like, you know, a raised one, not a squatty one. So, it's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> so how's it going with the squat toilets? Are you having an easy or difficult time? Easier time now. Really? It takes, it takes practice and skill. What's okay. your technique? I don't know. This is done. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, like, how do you balance? Everybody has a different way to balance on the squat. I just, I don't know. I just balance. You're like a Zen master, huh? Yes. <laughs> or should I, or should I take random people? I can do one or two things. Take people from his class. Ah, ah. You mean Alan? Alan and uh, Ke uh, Kevin. Kevin and, and Alan. Or I could just take my class to come up with me. I can take so, you. What? Great. So, so what are you? Are you going to be performing in the, in the assembly today? Yes, I will be. What will you be doing? I'll be singing Tong Hua. Tong Hua. Can you give us a little sample? Yeah. That's right. So where are you from? I'm from uh, New Jersey in the USA. And why, and why did you come to China? To teach English. And just to chill with Asian people. Because I hear Asian people are cool to hang out with. Okay. <laughs> Stella. Hi, how are you? Good. And well, are you performing tonight? Um, I guess so. My throat kind of hurts, so I'll do it anyway. Well, what are you going to do? Sing the song. Can you give us a little sample? Sure. I don't know the rest. And why did you come to China? I was supposed to be teaching English. And You're supposed to be, so what are you really doing? <laughs> well, hanging out with you. Out with you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what else? Well, Happy it's really just to broaden my mind, you know? So what? Experience something that's different than what is normal. Okay, so what, what has been your favorite thing to eat so far? Place where you bought us, the La Main. That was actually one of the best ones I've ever had so far. Okay. This guy over here is filming me. Let's get him. <laughs> I have a camera too. Aha. Uh -huh. You can take a picture. I can take a picture. Aha. Uh -huh. How are you? What are you eating? Nietzsche <laughs> Shimadongshi. Huh? Ice cream, let's see. Yeah, I got someone I want you to meet. 
punch you. So, what did you say? I, I got someone I want you to meet. Walter, 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 come here. Come here. I want you to meet my friend here. This is Ron. Ron, this is a uh, friend, Walter. He's probably the probably the best English speaker in this whole thing. Hello, Walter. <laughs> Would you like to say something for my camera? Okay. Uh, I, I, I will go to uh, I will go to be hosting, so I have some something. Can you tell jokes? No. You don't know any jokes. <laughs> How are you going to be a host with no jokes? Host me jokes. You have to think of some jokes now. <laughs> no. Tell me a joke. I don't like play jokes. Tell me a joke. <laughs> No, sorry, I'm sorry. I have something to do. Okay. So, so bye. Bye. I made him nervous. That guy gets the gong.
something about Jap something about Japanese invaders, McDonald's and KFC coupons. God save us all. That's the next save of Fry Ryan. Hi. So what do you think so far? Excellent, excellent, excellent show. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Gotta be fucking kidding. <laughs> Their play is like it's awesome. It's all about the kids. Yeah, it's all about the children. We love the kids. Yeah! <laughs> the crack must be free here. <laughs> So here I am. Uh, I don't know what the name of this temple is, but in the end, I'll subtitle it. Uh, I don't know what the name of this temple that we're at now is inside the Shaolin Temple, but I'll edit it in later. And uh, apparently, there's a depression in the floor called the, the Kung Fu Foot. So, so let's, let's have a look at that. Man, I'm, I'm really loving this. It's really difficult for me to get stuff that you guys are really going to be interested in because I'm trying to enjoy myself and, and uh, take some flicks. So don't be too angry with me. Okay? Watch the next episode, I promise. It's gonna be better. Everybody wants to be a star, don't they? I should just do this to the guy. Okay, man, I should... Hold on, stop, I gotta do this. I only have a little bit. Okay, I should have taken his camera with me, but this is the synopsis of everything that since I left the Shaolin Temple. Ended up traveling to Xi'an with the lady that lives here. Met her and her husband, great people, went to see the uh, the Terracotta Warriors. And I ran into a fan of the podcast. Get the hell out of here. M m little old me, I have fans. And uh, I bumped his lady, took a picture together. Really, really, really warm welcome and reception. And, uh, man. This is what happens when I leave my camera in my bag. But I only have one minute of battery power left, so uh, I guess that's my, my epilogue signing off. Don't forget to say you are mid. Huh? Chinese uh, mid race in Xi'an. Say, you say, say that again. Anyway, nice to meet you in Xi'an. You are, you are friends from my hometown. That's my friend Grace, and she's from Fuzhou too, and she was in Xi'an too. What a cool inky dink. This is gonna. A, a heck of a. No. She wants me to film her Twitter. No. Ron Sam's out. Peace. Pew.